week number 9 on the Social Hackathon blog series. Last week we got a little sneak peek from the interviews that the team has been doing the past weeks. Today we are going to find out a little more about the interviews, how they went and what did the team find out. So let's see what the team has been doing the past week and what is coming up next. We have been asking people about five main themes, body and social interaction, step goals and point system, health and exercise, and the last one is technology and privacy. The biggest lesson we have learned so far is try not to ask leading questions and be really patient while they're talking. In addition, we also try asking some questions which are linked with personal steps data. By creating individual chat like this, the interviewer can remark some points to Ray during the interview. Today we interviewed some of our participants in the trial and we tried to figure out what they like about it. The most interesting things was that uh, we are giving them the goals so that gives them some structure and that keeps them motivated and that's better than if they just got the step counter on their own. And then another important finding was that people feel really good if they get someone else to participate and if they get someone else moving they get a good feeling, someone that they care about. And it could be the buddy or it could be the senior. So that was an interesting finding for us. Uh, it's totally changed the way they think about exercise and it's totally changed their exercise habits. And then. Uh, the other just said that it makes them feel feel good and that it has uh, gotten them closer with their with their buddy. One of the participants used to walk four kilometers a day before he started, and now he walks seven to eight because of our pilot. And he said that's completely because of moving, and that's really great. I like hearing people's story and really getting to know them, and seeing that at the beginning of the interview it's a little uncomfortable and you don't know them so well. But by the end, you've established some common ground and heard a bit of their story. And you really get to know people. I think it's it's one of the most fun parts about this job, is interviewing the elderly. So far, we have interviewed 17 people. So we actually divided into two teams of two. Um, Nick and me went to the Swedish-speaking people, and Hayan and Melina went to the Finnish-speaking people. Uh, while Nick and Melina were doing the interviews, me and Hayan would sync the information, we would take notes, and observations and then we come up to like we come together and like discuss about the findings. Some people joined our project because they were interested in their body's health, uh, some people were interested in their own health and some people wanted more interaction with other people who were inside the pilot. Also one thing that was kind of interesting was the fact that people were not really bothered by the polar or the technology. So they found it pretty comfortable and easy to use. When we were interviewing the elderly, um, it was interesting finding that when we asked, has it affected or how, has, how have they changed their lives? They said that no, they have continued their daily life. But then it turned out later that actually they have increased their steps and some small things they, they have started doing. And I think it's something unconscious also. So for example, one, um, question I had was if you're missing for example a thousand steps from your daily goal what would you do and especially the more competitive um, elderly um, said that uh, well one she said that she might you know go prepare coffee for the morning put everything ready um, or then she might walk to the attic and get some stuff from there thank you guys it seems like everything is going quite smoothly the pilot will be on for one more week and after that it's time to collect all the data and analyze it i will see you next week bye bye